Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. So we're officially on day, what, three or four of quarantine. You know what I'm saying? And um, I decided, even though I'm not... Wow. Even though I'm not going anywhere, I guess I could do my hair, you know, look presentable because this... <laughs> This is not working for me, okay? All right. Yeah, I mean, other than this, how y'all doing, you know? Y'all got y'all snacks, y'all got y'all toilet paper. Are we all as bored as I am right now? Because literally, I'm losing my mind. I am. Anyway, so today's video, we are going to do a low bun on the TWA. I don't know if this is still considered TWA, but for sure, it's um, hair that can't fit into a ponytail on its own. You see what, you see these two here? You see these? You see the ponytail? They're not reaching, okay? So, this method is so old, and there's a million videos on it. I know that because I watched at least 40 of them today to make sure I did this right. So, yeah, so if your hair is short like mine and you want to go ahead and wear in a low bun but it can't all fit, have no fear, okay? Short hair just is here, I'm here. So, back in the day, I would only have to separate my hair into like three sections and just Put it in a bun but since you know we've had a little life change in the past couple of videos <laughs> let's say goodbye to jessica rabbit bye girl wow it's been fun it's been a fun year things aren't as easy anymore so we will also be incorporating some curly clip-ins by curls curls but we will get to that later. Shout out the sponsor real quick. Okay, so okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to split my hair. I'm gonna do a middle part. I don't know, I feel like middle parts just look better on my face. Side parts make my, my face look like an almond. It's kind of like a peanut head kind of look, like an alien head type deal. And I'm not for it, you know I'm not. So let's just get that part together. Alright, so I've got my middle part. So now, some of the things you're gonna need for this hairstyle, if you have short hair like mine, you're gonna need a bunch of hair ties. You're definitely gonna need some gel. You're gonna need some foam. Well, I'm gonna use foam. Some people didn't use foam, but I'm gonna use foam because the parts of my hair that don't make it into the ponytail, I'm gonna need to make sure I have extra security to make them, you know, get in there. Because right now, I'm hitting the Al Sharpton look. But we're gonna, we're gonna transform real soon, I promise. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair into a few sections. Okay, so I have a section here, 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 and then I just left the back out because I'm going to work on that first. And I forgot to say this, and I know somebody's gonna ask, but I am starting on a freshly washed hair. I already put my leave-in and my oil in. I did it in the shower. I was trying something new. We'll, I will get to that one day. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is use my bristle, bristle, what is this? My Denman brush, and I'm gonna just, I already detangled my hair in the shower, but I'm just gonna brush my hair down right now and get it like kind of ready for the motion that I want it to go in. So I'm gonna use the gel. Gonna go in with the Denman brush again, just to slick it down, make sure there's no bumps. And then we're gonna go in with the bristle brush and brush that down. Then I'm just gonna use this hair tie and put it in the ponytail. So now we're gonna move on to this next section here. So I have this next section here. I'm just gonna do the same exact thing. So if you notice, I'm not spritzing my hair with more water, because my hair is already damp. I don't feel the need to do this on soaking wet hair at all. I feel like damp hair with the gel is plenty for it to slick down. I'm gonna use my Demon brush. The top half of my hair is now slicked and done. Okay, so now it's the top part, which is the most important part, and for me, probably gonna be the most difficult part because it's not all going to fit into a ponytail. As you can see, this part here is not gonna fit into my ponytail back there. So I'm gonna split this in half, and I'm just gonna do the same exact thing from before. So 
So I'm gonna use this clip to hold that part real quick as I get this part up in here. The top part is where you're gonna need to use the most product to get this hair to, to lay down because like I said a million times, the hair tie is not going to hold it down because it's not reaching the hair tie. So I'm going to be using a lot more gel on the top. We're gonna move this hair tie because it's in the way. But it's, it's like right here where my some of my hair stops, so I'm gonna use a lot of gel right there. And then use my hands to really smooth it back. You see how smooth my hands get it? Like my hands are the key ingredient here, to be honest. And then another hair tie to secure that one. I'm not gonna put that one super tight. Just kidding, I am. Ooh, boy, we talking about slick. So we're just gonna admire the difference between this nice sleek side here and the whatever you choose to call this side here. I'm just gonna run through this part and do the same thing I did on the other side. Oh my gosh, my eyelash is coming off. Yikes. Oh my gosh, my arms are so tired. So again, you see how this hair does not reach the ponytail back here. We're going to get it with the rest of the family. And I'm going to use my last hair tie to group us all together as one big family. Okay, so I wrapped that around three times. I'm really over here breathing heavy. This is not a joke. Natural hair is not a joke. My arms are so tired. <laughs> wow, okay. But we feel really nice and slick right now. So now I'm just gonna do a little wrap with that. So I'm gonna put a little bit of foam, just a little bit, and just do 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 do. All in there, all in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we love to see that. We do. So here is a close-up of my hair right now, super slick. I'm not gonna do my edges just yet because I have learned that my edge control will not stick to my head if my hair is wet. I'm gonna let it set and let it dry a little bit in place before I put my edge control on. So I'm just gonna let this set overnight and then I will be back in the morning so we can finish the rest of this hairstyle. See y'all. All right guys, so it's the next morning and I'm not even gonna lie to you, my scarf slipped off at least 12 times last night. Like every time it slipped off, I would wake up and I'm like, I don't know how like my, my spiky senses just tingle and it's like, sis, your satin scarf is not on your head. So it came off a bunch of times. Uh, so when I woke up this morning, my hair was not really in the best of shapes. So I went ahead and just kind of refreshed it um, off camera. I also did my edges really quick. Yeah, I had to go ahead and put some hairpins um, a little bit towards the back where my hair was not fitting in the ponytail um, because it was also, when I woke up this morning, the thing was like up here. It didn't, it didn't hold it down the way I wanted it to just because my scarf did not do its job last night. So now on to the fun part. This little, you know, little bun is cute or whatever, but um, that's not what we're doing today. So I have these clip-ins by Curls Curls. Um, I believe these are 18 or, I think no, these are 20 inch and I got them in curly. Now I went ahead and co-washed these because when you get them straight out the bag, the curls are a little too tight and they don't look as natural um, as they do after you go ahead and wash them. These clip-ins are really good if you wanna do a whole head of hair, which I will end up doing like a whole head later on, but right now I really just wanted to kind of put my hair away. Since we're quarantined right now, there's no need to be out here looking amazing. You know, we're just gonna scale it back a little bit. So I'm just gonna use these to put them in my ponytail to make it look a lot more full. So they have ones that have two clips on there. For right now, I'm just gonna use the ones with the three and four clips on there just to make it a lot easier. So I'm just gonna start with the three and I'm just going to wrap it around. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it around my bun.
So I'm just gonna use the bobby pin to secure it as well. All right, so I'm gonna add one more piece. So for the last piece, instead of securing it, I'm going to take some hair. I'm gonna wrap it around so it can hide the tracks. And then I'll take one last bobby pin and I'll pin it in. So here's just the leftover pieces, but here is the point tail. I'm just going to use some foam to kind of define the ponytail a little bit. And let me just say, I love the fact that my hair is a natural black or natural dark brown or whatever you want to call it. Because now I don't have to dye my clip-ins or dye my extensions or pick the right color weave for braids anymore. I just pick that one bead or that color two and we call it a day, okay? That's the one thing that I really didn't like about having colored hair is color matching and always having to bleach the hair first and then dye the hair. What a task, okay? Definitely make sure you get the ends because that's the frizziest part. Make sure you get those ends. So you guys, that is the finished tutorial. So that is how I went from this to this girl, okay? Come on, can we just get a round of applause? Can we? This is good stuff, I'm not gonna lie to you. Wow. I absolutely love this low sleek hairstyle with the clip-ins. It's definitely gonna be one of my staple protective low manipulation style, which is perfect for this quarantine because I don't need to be touching up my hair right now. I'm not going nowhere. We're not doing anything. So this will be in my hair for maybe not that long because I know y'all need videos. So because of y'all, I won't be wearing this for long. But if I had a regular job, I would wear this for like two weeks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys stay safe out there. Wash your hands, don't touch nobody. You know, make sure you open the doors like this. Flush the toilet like this. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.